video, I'm going to give you a demonstration of Sage 100 Contractor. So if you're ready, let's get started. As you see here, I am in the desktop of Sage 100 Contractor. All the available modules are listed here on the left hand side. With your purchase of the software, you receive general ledger, accounting reports, accounts receivable, accounts payable, payroll, project management, utilities, and review and reporting. For an additional one-time fee, you can add equipment management, estimating and scheduling, service receivables, or inventory. As you see here, the user interface and navigation is a key component to Sage 100 Contractor. Sage has made the interface user-friendly and flexible. Notice the tabs on the top. When I click on one, it displays the pre-built activity center. These activity centers organize data entry and reporting tools into logical workflows and organized resources. Each user can adjust which activity centers they see when logged into the software and can customize the look of each activity center by adding, removing, or rearranging icons. This way the user can only see the icons and system resources that they need. This feature is really helpful to new users of the software and can help them easily navigate through the database. The dashboard is also available to each user of Sage 100 Contractor. Based on security access, users may add, remove, or modify the widgets they see within their dashboards. The user has an option to view widgets from general ledger, payables, receivables, and projects. Another key feature to Sage 100 Contractor is the Report Scheduling tool. This allows you to run important reports on a regular basis to internal users. The report can email these reports to external users as well. First, I need to navigate to the report that I would like to schedule. Then, I can hit the calendar icon on the top right of the screen. The scheduling box appears as you see here. I can now make the necessary choices and then save the schedule. Now the software will automatically send the report to the individuals at the time and day that I specified. Sage 100 Contractor offers a workflow that starts with estimating, continues to project management, and flows to your core accounting functions. As you see here in the estimating module, I will start with the takeoff. From this screen, I can export this takeoff into a budget or proposal. And details related to my vendors can be converted into requests for proposals, purchase orders, or subcontract agreements. Users can also use the estimating module to create detailed change orders, and service work orders. Once this information is exported, it becomes a part of project management and accounting. In project management, you can process and track all your project related documents, such as RFIs, submittals, transmittals, daily field reports, and punch lists. You can also manage all your committed costs, such as purchase orders and subcontract agreements. Within the project management module, you can also create your change orders. Let's take a look at the change order screen. As you can see here, you can enter, track, and manage changes to your prime contract, budget, purchase orders, and subcontract agreements, or all of the above. In this screen, you can track the status of the change order, various approval and submission dates, as well as the requested and approved amount of your prime contract change orders. On the next tab, you see an example of changes to two of my subcontractors for this prime contract change. I can also track the status of these subcontract or purchase order changes and the dates that these were approved. Project management also provides various job cost reports that show summarized snapshots of the project, like this job status report, 
or more detailed cost reports like this committed cost report. Within the Job Reports menu, the software provides you with 96 reports. As you see here, the Job Status Report shows a simple summary of the job with the contract value and invoices above, and the project budget and costs below. The committed cost report shows the revised budget, cost to date, subcontracts, purchase orders, accrued labor for payroll that has not been processed yet, and the remaining budget by cost code. One nice feature about the reports in Sage 100 Contractor is that they are drillable. For example, Let's say I want to see what makes up this cost total in the cost code subfloor framing. When I hover my icon over the dollar amount, you notice the cursor changes to a magnifying glass with a plus sign. This indicates that this field is drillable and allows for more information. When I double click, you notice here it pulls up a cost transaction detail of this cost code. The drillable feature takes you all the way to the point of entry. In this case, it is pulling up the payroll check record. As I mentioned earlier, the project details flow into accounting. Budget or proposal figures can be used to generate AIA formatted progress billings. As you can see here, when I go into the progress billings, I can pull up my schedule of values for a job and bill accordingly, also holding the correct retention that I want to. When I hit the print button, You'll notice I have various types of progress billing formats that I can use. This example is an AIA type progress billing with my cover page with the contract summary and the secondary pages that are showing my schedule of work. Committed costs are also connected to accounts payable. When entering an AP invoice, notice how I can enter a purchase order or subcontract number in the fields. Once I enter this information, it pulls my PO or subcontract agreement into the accounts payable invoice. Notice as I add this invoice to the subcontract agreement. It notifies me that the vendor's insurance is expired. This way I can hold payment if necessary to get revised insurance. It also pulls up the subcontract agreement details. Here I can enter in the appropriate information. I can also choose what accounting period I want this invoice to post in. Once I hit save, notice that it will tell me that I'm trying to invoice for more than the subcontract amount. I have a couple of options based on security settings. I can either go ahead and continue, or I can hit no and enter in a change order for the difference. Sage 100 Contractor has a fully functional construction payroll processing solution. Whether you work on prevailing wage jobs or have union employees, Sage 100 Contractor can handle it all. It even creates your certified reports no matter who you work for, whether it be the federal government or your state. Sage has the official forms. Sage 100 Contractor also handles your union reporting, as well as your quarterly and annual payroll tax reporting. Review and reporting allows you to modify existing forms and reports, as well as create your own custom forms and reports. With Sage 100 Contractor, you can develop workflows that incorporate system warnings and alerts, record status settings, the hot list, and scheduled reports to bring your team together allowing project management efforts to be utilized by accounting and accounting providing project management with real-time job costs, user-defined fields and the ability to modify required fields, data formats, and user security allow you to manage how and where users enter data and who has access to see certain data within the software. If you would like to learn more about the add-on modules, please watch our videos on those modules listed in the description below. If you would like to learn more about Sage 100 Contractor or any of the Sage Construction software products, schedule a demo or get pricing, visit our website www.teamtag.net or email us at sales at teamtag.net. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for weekly Sage Construction software tips and tricks.